Hello guys, I'm here today to talk about year one cash on cash return for real estate investors. First I'm going to talk about what this means, then why it's important, and finally how you can use it to compare different rental properties using this real estate investing metric. During this video I will be demonstrating IQ Wealth Calculator's real estate investing calculator. It does the hard work for you. All you need to do is plug in your investment projections. Cash on cash return is a calculation or metric that real estate investors use to estimate a real estate property's return on cash in year one. This isn't a very complicated calculation if you know what you're doing, but software certainly helps make it easier. First, to get started, you need to know how much of the property you plan to buy with cash and how much of the purchase price you will finance with a mortgage. Next, you'll need to factor in any additional cash you plan to invest to renovate or maybe the cash that you will pay in fees to acquire the property. These two items will add together to equal your total cash invested in the property. Next, you'll need to estimate your year one rental income. This should be your rental income for one month multiplied by 12 minus any vacancy you may have in year one. Like many things in this calculation, it will only be as accurate as your real estate estimates. Once you have this number, hold on to it for later. Next, you'll need to determine what your mortgage payments will be in year one and add them to your other expenses such as property taxes, insurance, and or HOA fees. Following that, you'll need to estimate depreciation expenses. If you are buying a residential property, this can be done by taking your purchase price and dividing it by 27 and a half. This will be an estimate of your annual depreciation expense. Check out one of our other videos for an explanation on depreciation. In short, depreciation is an expense that doesn't cost us money, but is an expense you can deduct from your income in order to avoid a portion of your income taxes. Now that you have your total revenue or rental income and expenses in year one, we need to subtract your expenses from your revenue. It is very possible that after subtracting your depreciation and your operating expenses, that you have an income of zero. If you have zero income, this means that you won't have to pay any income tax in year one, which is good news. If you do have income, then you will take your net income after expenses and multiply it by your marginal tax rate or your tax bracket. This will be an estimate of your tax related expenses on the property in year one. If you have tax related expenses, subtract those from your net income. Finally, in order to calculate your net cash flow, you need to add your depreciation expenses back into your net income. We do this because rental property depreciation is not a cash expense. And lastly, you'll need to subtract the principal payment portion of your mortgage from this number in order to arrive at your final year one cash flow. This calculation may be difficult to follow in this video, so here's a visual formulaic image of how this calculation works. Pause this video if you want to study this formula. If you are a real estate investor or you are thinking of investing in real estate, then this should be a formula that you try to understand and keep in your back pocket. Once you understand how it works, you'll have a real estate metric you can use when comparing rental property. We hope you found this video useful. Be sure to like this video and follow our page as it will surely help us help more people like yourself. To visit this calculator, see the link in the description and always be sure to read the terms and conditions.